Hi everyone, um, welcome back. So we're going to do a second experiment today. Now, um, last 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 one we made some poo, didn't we, Essie? But this time we're going to do the, kind of the opposite. We're going to try and think about how why it's so important to wash our hands, especially with all these nasty bugs going around and germs. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little experiment with milk, food colouring, and different types of soap. So we always have to wash our hands with soap, don't we, Essie? Yeah. Yeah. Really important, but really Essie important. keeps asking, why? Why do we have to wash our hands with soap? So we've got some whole fat milk here. We've got, and it's really important to use whole fat milk because in whole fat milk, there's loads and loads of fat. Okay, so and we're going to fill the plate up. Now, the reason that's so important is because all the germs and all the viruses and things like that are covered in a layer of fat. Yeah, the fatty molecules and then we we're going to put in some food coloring as well so a few tiny little drops oh, and then they, they might spread out a little bit because the table's a bit wobbly okay we're going to put some tiny bit of black in. i'm going to do it just because if we put too much in it won't work okay so i'm going to bring the camera over in a minute now essie's going to put some soap on her finger just put a little bit on and you can watch the soap should react with the milk and you'll see that the milk dis moves away from her finger straight away try and do this black bit here show the black bit okay and it moves away and that's what happens when we use soap in uh, when we wash our hands so water's great because it gets rid of all the dirt and it can get some, but actually soap is fantastic because it can actually it actually repels all the fat molecules and it gets rid of all the fat molecules. So washing your hands, like the doctors and the nurses are saying, for 20 seconds with warm water and soap as well, because we just prove that the fat molecules covering a virus or a mon or um, germs will be repelled by that. So we're going to have a go at testing. Which work. type of soap is the best at repelling all this fat? So we've got some soapy foam, which is Essie's favourite. Do you want to show them the soapy foam? And we show them that they can bounce and things on the table. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a go at doing some different ones. And you can have a go. Um, My challenge... Do you want to have a go? Chuck it in, in then. We did old foot to put the food colouring in, didn't we? Should we see what happens if we put the food colouring on now? Then we're gonna move it around, put some soap in there, and it does move it around a little bit. Okay, and it's all moving there. Okay, let's try food colouring this one. I got black on this one. Right. Try, let's try. Daddy's, Daddy's shampoo, shampoo bits here, the body wash. Can you try that one, Essie? Oh, you're having lots of fun with that, aren't you? Okay, try it. Can you squirt a little bit of that on your finger? And look, it moves it away straight away. Okay. So my challenge to you, everybody, is if I can get some, so you can see my thing. My challenge is: can you help the NHS, help the government oh, to prove? Oh my gosh! Look at your hands. I want you to see which type of soap, or which type of shampoo, or which type of hand gel is the best at repelling the fat molecules. Okay. Good luck. Think about how you're going to make your experiment a fair test. Remember to only change one variable because if you change okay. lots of things at the same time, then you won't know which one affected the fat molecules. Okay. And it's a bye bye from Essie, or also known as Anna. Can you say bye bye? Bye. And bye bye from me.